Now, there are some specific techniques in there that explain what is really going on and what we need to... It's kind of a, an outline of what we do in our prayer closet. And they are worship, praise, correction, protection, worship, and then you wrap up with petition. So let me explain. Worship. When it says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, that's worship. So let me first of all give you the definition of worship. Worship is telling God who he is and that you love him for it. Let me say it again. Worship is telling God who he is and that you love him for it. Praise is telling God what he does and that you love him for it. Notice with all of the other dreams and visions where the angel was speaking to Dimitri, praise was not a part of it. What God wants is not more... He wants our praise, but more than he wants our praise, he wants our worship. He wants our heart. He wants our love. And when we have given him our heart and our love, we can ask what we will, and it will be given. So the first thing is worship. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Then the next thing is praise. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. So the first thing that we do to make certain that we're in the prayer closet right, we're doing the right things in the prayer closet, is we worship and then we praise. All right, now after we've worshipped and praised, and I'm going to come back and talk about that for a minute, uh, but the next thing is a time of correction. You remember that rod and staff? Thy rod and staff are with me? Okay, this is where we start letting the God, our God correct us because there's things that we're not doing right. Now, the typical American Christian is probably thinking, well, wait a minute, I don't break the Ten Commandments. I mean, I follow them. That's not what I'm talking about. Those should be a given. Those ought to automatically be followed by all Christians. I'm talking about anything short of Christ-likeness. Again, I'll talk about that more in a minute. Also, then, once we've asked, we've been corrected, then we can ask for His protection. And then we wrap it up with worship, and then finally, the last thing we do is then we can file our petitions. In other words, Lord, this is what I'd like. When we've been through this, then we can ask what we will, and it will be given. All right, now let's talk about my prayer closet what I do, how I got started, and some successes that I believe that I've learned in that prayer closet. First of all, I think it takes a minimum of six months praying a minimum of one time a day. Minimum of one time a day. However, the scriptures say, the, the, the lesson, the example of Daniel was three times a day. So any